Hi, Chef Jerry here. Today I'm going to be grilling some swordfish and shrimp, pineapple, and sweet potato out on the grill. I'm using my Caribbean roasted yellow pepper slather flavor booster. It's so versatile and there's so much fun. It's made up of roasted yellow peppers, mangoes, bananas, habanero, lime. It's absolutely delicious. So anyway, let's begin. I've made a vinaigrette and I had some of the pineapple juice and I want to really beef it up. What I'm doing is I'm taking the slather and you can do this with any of the slathers and I'm going to add like a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to put it the top on this and then shake it up. So that mixes it all up. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and just shake this out on this and all with a shrimp. And I mean, they're going to put it a little bit on the pineapple, too. Why not? My grill is hot. I've sprayed it. So I'm going to lift these babies just like this on both sides. Kind of get them coated a little bit. And you don't want to overcook fish, okay? Then I have some of this on top. And then you want to sneak a peek. You know, but you want a nice grill mark on it. I'm going to create some more heat and I'm going to close the lid. Before I flip it, I'm going to sprinkle some more seasoning on it. And this is like uh, some citrus, some garlic, you know, some salt and pepper. You don't want to over season it because you don't want to take away from the fish. You want to taste that delicious swordfish steak. Let's see. You want to wait. If you only want to flip your steak whether it's a beef steak or a swordfish steak. You only want to flip it once, okay? Now, I'm gonna take some of that seasoning that I had, because I had put that original, that mopping sauce, what I call it, my vinaigrette on top, and then I think it's time to throw on the shrimp. So I'm just gonna lay these shrimp out like that. Now I've dusted them with salt and pepper, and we could add some more, there we go. We have a little bit of the juice. Let's sprinkle that on, yeah? Then on the other side, I'm gonna do our pineapple. And I've seasoned that and like I did. I put a little sugar first, and then I add some of the vinaigrette, remember? Sweet potato is also a good pairing with this Caribbean. Also any kind of ham. And I'm just gonna go toss this around like that. And I have some pepper. I could do the same. Then these shrimp, I'm gonna see, they, they take no time to cook. So I'm just gonna flip those. Look how great that looks. Let's see, I'm gonna flip this, see how this, ooh, look at that. I have these on a mat. And what I'm going to do is take some of this sugar, sprinkle it around all over it. This is called sparkling sugar. It's real shiny. It's fun to use. And I have a little bit of lime juice and lime zest. So I think this is about ready. So just a little lime. That always gives it a wonderful flavor. So all I have to do is just plate it up, right? So I've got some greens here. I think I'm gonna put that swordfish right there. Here's another one right here. And my shrimp, I'm gonna put them like here. It's gonna be like a salad and the pineapple. Okay, that looks pretty good. And you can either heat this up a little bit, or while it's hot, if it's room temperature, you can just lay the sauce right over. Yeah, doesn't that look great? And then if I wanna do some more vinaigrette, I could just shake that on, kind of give it like a little spark. We could hit it with some, there's always green onions, always. I just love green onions. And here's some cilantro, and there you go. Look at that. I have to see how it tastes. I can't wait. 
look how tender. And it's, and look at that swordfish, perfectly cooked, not overcooked, it's just perfect. Look at this big shrimp, oh my God. Ah, fabulous, ridiculously fabulous. Mm. And the pineapple. Mm. Awesome. I could just eat the pineapple. And the sweet potato. Dynamite. This Caribbean slather really actuates these, the flavor. Until next time. Bye. Keep slathering. Mm -hmm.